And they, the sort of estimate in the literature you find is for if, if the increase in the risk is one ten thousand per year, now we have only one additional year, but suppose it was lifetime, you'd have to be paid an additional $5 million. I'm sorry. <coughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is right, but I didn't say it right. <laughs> so what I'm saying is wrong, I think. <laughs> Um, and when people say what I'm saying, what, uh, yeah, I'm right, well, I know what I'm writing, but I'm just not writing it right. I usually say, you don't know what you're writing. <laughs> if you know what you're writing, you usually get it right. So I didn't get it right. So let me go back and say what, what's going on. Let's say it, the risk is, they're, they're going to re increase their risk by one ten thousand in each year. How much do they have to be paid each year? And the answer is that is, is, is around five hundred dollars. Now, from some studies, they find three hundred dollars or two hundred dollars. Others find seven hundred dollars or so on. But if you take five hundred dollars five hundred dollars divided by the change in the probability equal one over one ten thousand. That's equal to five million dollars, right? So it's like taking s prime, changing it by one ten thousand, dividing it by this term on the right, and let's say the numerator is five hundred dollars, and the uh, that divided by the inverse of one ten thousand is $5 million. So if you look at, that's what people, how people get what they talk about when they say we're talking about the, the statistical value of life. I mean, the notation I'm going to use for that is B is equal to S V L, and that's, let's say, anywhere from 3 to, let's say, 7 million. In U.S., not for everybody in the U.S., for the typical person in the U.S. There's a lot of qualifications you have to make. There's not a single <coughs> one. A poor person will pay less, will have a lower value than a rich person. Why? Well, if they had the same utility function, the same gammas, then their full, full income is lower. So if my full income is half your full income, and my gamma is the same, then basically I'm, I'm going to be willing to spend approximately half of what you're willing to spend. Right? To my value of life, yours is five, mine would be two and a half. So if I go to a poor country, well, the value of life in India is one-sixth of that in the United States. Now, some people complain, well, wow, wait a minute, um, wait a minute. You're saying people in India aren't worth as much as people in the United States? Well, it depends on what metric you're using. I mean, if, if you ask, is uh, people, is the government of India willing to spend as much to reduce the probability of a road accident, a death from a road accident in the government of the United States? The answer would be clearly no. Just travel in India. And you can see that. The roads are terrible, uh, in invitations to accident. So poor countries are willing to pay, le pay less. They recognize this. It's obvious because, you know, instead of getting all upset at, at, and on one's high horse, think of the following. I'm a government. I have limited resources. How much do I want to put into reducing the probability of dying, put into education, put into some other form of activity? And the Indian government has limited resources, so they're going to put less into this. So they recognize this. Now, whether they recognize it proportionally or not, you can you know, argue about that. Uh, in some sense, they I'll show you some evidence they recognize it in a sense more than proportionally. Not less than proportionally, more. Uh, but they recognize it. So, I mean, it's, it's just an aspect of reality that the individual has to recognize and the society has to recognize without you're not talking about ethical worths of different individuals. You're not talking about that. And you may say we should try to equalize expenditures on health for a variety of reasons. That's fine. 
Well, if you ask, what's the value that people are going to place on this? What's the value that society is placed on it? That's going to vary with individual incomes and with incomes of a country. And it does vary. It's not just a, you know, a, a theoretical implication. It does vary. You, you see it all the time. So the amount that U.S. spends on health is a lot different than the amount that, say, Nigeria spends on health, or Pakistan, or India, or China, or Brazil. That doesn't mean we have the highest life expectancy in the world. And that's a good question. Maybe we'll get into that. But there's a clear, strong relationship between expenditures on health and per capita income in it. Both private expenditures and public expenditures.